just like to say thank you to uh, everyone that's uh, come back to me with uh, nice comments on the, uh, the videos on this uh, hips clock uh, movement that I'm putting together. Um, uh, I never know if it's going to be of interest to folks or not, but uh, there's, there's been some interest, so thanks for that guys. Um, okay, this has been running for uh, a couple of days now, uh, on and off. I've stopped and stopped it and adjusted it and played and done things. Right, I said I'd go through the, uh, the gearing on this uh, clock and uh, we've already been through these uh, hour uh, hands, this divide by 12, so we'll keep that out of the way for the time being. And then um, uh, essentially we've got four wheels, so from this wheel, the centre wheel, uh, that has 60 teeth and uh, that goes on to the pinion of this uh, second wheel here uh, which has got seven teeth and then uh, that goes on to the pinion of this gear that has seven teeth and uh, both of these have uh, 49 teeth and then there was the uh, little escapement uh, which has uh, seven teeth on the pinion there so I'll just make a note of those okay um, essentially we have the central shaft that carries the minute hand and uh, that shaft is connected to a wheel that has 60 teeth on it so 60 T um, we know that uh, each hour is uh, 60 minutes and uh, each minute has 60 seconds uh, so that's 3600 uh, seconds uh, per revolution for uh, for that wheel. The uh, next uh, little wheel has uh, a pinion with uh, seven teeth and uh, put it under there and it has uh, 49 teeth on this, uh, this outer edge. So the ratio between that and that is uh, 60 divided by 70. So those 60 turns divided by the 70 there. And uh, we'll do it the easy way. 60 divided by 7 equals, and it comes out to a bit of a miserable number. You see there, uh, 8 point seven one four two eight six Come on. so this wheel has to go around eight and a half times uh, per hour so for this to go around once that's got to go around uh, eight and a half times the next uh, little pinion again has uh, seven teeth and uh, again its uh, wheel has 49 so again uh, the ratio here is uh, 49 divided by 7 so that's uh, 7 so now we've got uh, um, 7 to 1 uh, for these uh, ratio between there so this has got to go around seven times in order to drive that round once so now we can say um, that first one we've got uh, 60 divided by 7 gives us the 8.57 uh, 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 times that by 7 so 60 so this uh, wheel will go around uh, 60 times uh, per hour. Uh, so in other words it's going to go around once a minute so that'll be useful if we wanted to uh, put a second hand on there. The uh, next little uh, pinion is on the uh, escapement and that has again seven teeth and on the outer wheel it has 16 teeth uh, so again 49 divided by 7 is again a, a ratio of uh, 7 to 1 there 
uh, so our 60 uh, times 7 gives us 420 yep. there. Um, so this little wheel is going to go around 420 times per hour there and um, if we uh, we know there are 16 teeth on there so 420 times 16 equals that's um, uh, 6720 so uh, 6720 uh, impulses or um, uh, oscillations or vibrations per hour uh, so each little tick tock tick tock um, and let's just uh, let's just check that um, and say 3600 divided by the recall equals 5.3 so, yeah that's the uh, so each oscillation originally uh, would have been 0 0.5 357 uh, of a second So, looking at this, I had anticipated that I would be modifying the escapement wheel, but uh, given that this wheel, um, uh, the second one away from the um, uh, minute uh, wheel, um, given that that's uh, one revolution per minute, um, if I've got a two second pendulum, I only need 30 teeth on that gear uh, to uh, allow me to impulse that every two seconds. At the moment it's got 49 teeth on it, so I think what I'll do is I will take those 49 teeth off and uh, cut in uh, 30 teeth uh, in there. So uh, it'll mean we've just got those three wheels and uh, the original escapement, um, I'll just leave that out. Uh, so it's going to be a lot simpler than I actually thought and uh, cutting uh, 30 teeth, uh, I can do that by hand, I don't even have to set up anything to, uh, to do that. Uh, so that looks nice and easy. I uh, hope all that makes sense. If I've made an error, I hope somebody lets me know before I start cutting gears. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.